Hello, uh, welcome to this course. We will continue our discussion on uh, computer networks and internet protocols. So, we are discussing on uh, routing protocols, right? As, uh, as uh, we discussed over this lecture. So, one of the primary objective of uh, uh, this overall network is route a packet from one, one source, one node to another node in the internet, right? So, uh, and it may go on over several routers, right? So, there are two things uh, which is uh, important. One is that what is being routed, right? The packet which is being routed. Another is that how this routing is uh, is possible, right? How this routing happens. So, in other sense, if we see, uh, if you recollect that what we have seen that every router or in intermediate or uh, in the internet routers, every routers maintain a routing table. So, what it says that if the packet is for this particular destination, then follow this particular interface of the router, right? So, in other sense what we see that our routing protocols primarily uh, aims at updating this routing table uh, or sometimes called forwarding table. So, if I get a get a packet with so such destination then I need to forward to this particular network that is my objective. As we are uh, referring to the analogy like if I have a road network with different uh, crossings which acts as a forwarder or routers, then the person or the traffic person in the crossing may help you that you say that if I want to go to that particular destination, which path I need to follow or what should be my next stop to follow, right. So, this is this is the thing we do. So, what it needs to do that every this router or the traffic man needs to be updated or maintain a table or lookup table, a forwarding table by which if say if he looks that this is my destination, this should be the network, right. So, the protocol across this uh, overall internet networking with helps in doing this uh, uh, forwarding or routing of packets are routing protocols. Now, we will see subsequently there is a concept of autonomous systems. So, that means it is a good group of network or uh, a, a portion of the whole network along with host and the uh, and necessary things like their connectivity protocols and so and so forth it constitute a autonomous systems autonomous system we will we'll look into those things uh, and these autonomous systems usually under one organizational or administrative control like iit kharagpur along with several networks uh, routers host protocols running, connectivity defined etcetera for can form a autonomous systems. That means, it is inside the things it maintains as a as a autonomous system. So, overall internet networking or overall internet is of this type of autonomous systems or popularly known as AS. So, every AS has a unique number right. So, so that it is identified. Now, you see so some of the packets need to be routed within the AS some of the packets need to be routed outside the AS, right. Suppose, you are say sending some source to destination, source destination can be within that AS only or the source and source and the destination can be different AS. So, for that we require something what we say intra domain routing sort of thing or inter domain route of things, right, which is localized and which is more globalized, right. So, conceptually you may say that the same algorithm may work across the thing absolutely no problem, but there are issues of uh, scalability, there are issues of uh, time complexity etcetera. So, based on managing a small network is much easier than managing the whole internet and type of things. Secondly, that internet works most of the things works on a cooperative basis, you may not have control of a whole internet internet networking as such. So, you cannot you may not run the whole things as such, right. So, so what we will what we have started from the last class we will be continuing that we look at the intra domain routing, right. Primarily we today we would like to look at the intra domain routing which has two specific primary category of uh, distance vector and link state uh, type of protocol, right. 
So, as uh, we discuss if, if we look at the dynamic routing protocol. So, that is another concept of static routing that means, static routes are specified, but if we look at the dynamic routing protocol. So, we have intra domain or inter domain and intra domain has two things that uh, two the group of uh, protocols one is distance vector another is link state protocol. One uh, very popular protocol in distance vector is the RIP hmm. routing information protocol or the in the link state is the OSPF uh, protocol for the in the link state. Whereas, in the inter domain we have a concept of path vector routing uh, and one uh, of the very uh, that major protocol will which predominates is the BGP or border gateway protocol. right? Uh, so, this way we segregate we today's uh, talk or today's discussion will be primarily hovering around distance vector and the link state protocol. Okay. So, uh, just to quick recap. So, if you have a uh, routing protocol one can be a static route that the static route uses program definitions representing paths through the network that means, already programmed or already defined routes or it can be a dynamic routes. Dynamic route algorithms allow router to automatically discover and maintain the awareness of the paths through the network. Right? The difference between these protocols is the way they discover and calculate the routes to the destination. So, everybody's objective is to update the routing table to a individual router such that the packets are uh, forwarded optimally. The different routing protocols which they differ is primarily that in uh, what sort of uh, how they discover these routes, how they calculate the new routes etcetera. Why this is required? The what we see that the uh, internet is a dynamic phenomena, the packet that there are uh, means uh, routes being uh, added or deleted in dynamically right. And, uh, and secondly, this is not under a single administrative control overall, right. So, you need to have update, you need to update individual or a router needs to update its routing table dynamically based on that how what frequency and other objectives are there. So, uh, to in order to maintain a appropriate routing things. Again, uh, though there are predominantly distance vector and link state are the predominant protocol there are uh, uh, sorry there are three distance vector link state as the intra domain and path vector protocol is the uh, inter domain whereas there is uh, another protocol uh, called hybrid it is not a uh, new protocol but mix of uh, this sort of things that also uh, people use but that is most mostly used in some sort of a proprietary or more regulated uh, scenario so, we will see that uh, distance vector each router in the internet maintains a distance or cost from itself to its neighbor. So, it is more uh, localized right uh, a router only look at the uh, uh, look or maintains and shares the information about the its neighbors uh, along with the uh, cost this or sometimes we call that distance of the things. The path represented by the smallest, smallest cost become the preferred path to reach the destination. Right? So, if there are more than one path for the destination the smallest the minimum cost path will be taken. This information is maintained in a distance vector table. Right? The table is periodically advertised to each neighbor and each router process this advertisement to determine the best path. So, what happens that every router has a localized information about its neighbor and the cost and it goes on advertising right and the neighbors listens and go on updating the things. So, there is a period of uh, advertisement uh, that is how periodically it is done one may be one is every 30 seconds and so and uh, along with that there can be thing that if there is any change the it will be advertised based on this input and the already packet available to it, already the table available to it the a particular router updates his routing table and in way it is some sort of a this sort of whispering goes on into the whole internet uh, or whole I to say autonomous system or and then it goes on updating right. Whereas, in link state each router advises a list of all directly connected network and associated cost of the link 
or it tries to look at the whole network or the portion of the network in the autonomous systems and it advertises the what is the link state it says right. This is performed through exchange of link state advertisement or popularly known as LSAs, LSA uh, with other routers in the network. Using these advertisement each router creates a database detailing the current network topology the topology database in each router is same. So, in other sense the e every router advertises the, the what way the networking overall network state or the picture is there to the rest and uh, it goes on updating and at any point of time ideally the routers have the same picture of the network under its uh, under its domain or under its uh, where in the region it is there like in the AS or the area in the AS where it is there it has the whole picture based on the thing it calculates the how to go to the uh, destinations. So, one is more localized uh, only with the neighbor here uh, it has a global picture of the things. And in case of a path vector it somewhat somewhere in some of the literature say it is somewhat similar to distance vector, but not exactly, but uh, there is a thing instead in case uh, in path vector we have uh, destination distance to the destination and the uh, that what are what is the path to reach the destination right. So, it is not the which is the net network, but what is the path in rest of the uh, to reach the destination or, or later we will see that when we will talk about BGP, BJ, BGP and all those things then we will see that that it says that this uh, that the ordered set of autonomous systems which the router need to pass to reach to the uh, to that particular destination if it is a interdomain routing. And finally, the hi hybrid protocol this protocol attempt to combine the positive attributes of uh, both distance vector and link state. So, networks using hybrid protocol tend to cover more uh, converge more quickly and so and so forth, but most of the cases it has be it has been seen that in order to maintain this both this type of things you require some more uh, I, I should say hardware or resource support and in most of the cases if you have a more uh, controlled environment or what we say proprietary environment that is this may be much useful, but, uh, but uh, in number of cases we do have those type of things. So, this can be followed. So, these protocols potentially reduce the cost of link state updates and distance vector advertisement and try to have a optimized uh, path along the things. Now, uh, so if we have a as typically a scenario like uh, this where there are different networks connected by different uh, routers a b c d like that and then uh, so if if we look at the distance vector what we have discussed so a says that periodically since the knowledge about the uh, about the whole network uh, whole network to bef so whatever it has in having the knowledge it send is to BEF to, to its neighbor. Similarly, uh, in case of B periodically send my knowledge about the whole network to A and C. So, whatever it is having the knowledge about the whole network it share with its neighbor. So, some sort of a whispering with its neighbor right it goes on doing that and in order to do that it attempts to converge right or look at another example like uh, in a distance vector uh, each node share its routing table that means the knowledge about the network with its in uh, immediate neighbors periodically and when there is a change. So, it is either it will be a periodically uh, that means every say time period t and when there is a uh, change. So, if there is a change then it also exchange the thing like uh, a b c d etcetera. So, A have the knowledge that from A to A the cost is 0, A to B is 5, A to C is 2, A this is the the first table is the A's table right A to D is 3 and A to E is 6. Now, A to E is 6 via C. So, the next stop is C this blank means the next stop is next stop is the immediate either itself or its immediate neighbor. 
Similarly, if you see the cost of D, you can uh, deduce that A directly to A as 3, but to B it has to go via A, but to uh, so it next stop is A then B, but it could have been A C B also based on the costing like uh, from for C it has to go via A and then C. Similarly, for E it has to go A then C then A. So, A to D to A is 3, but uh, for going to A to E is via C is 6. So, overall costing is 9. So, initially, so if you look at initially what is happening? Initially, if you look at A for A, it what is uh, what is C that to itself is 0, A is stable, to B is 5 because that is directly connected, to C is 2, to D is 3, and to E is infinity because it do, does not have any information about E that is not directly connected. So, this when when the router uh, say uh, time t equal to 0, it has these are the instances. Similarly, for b is like this, for b is something like this, c for c is something like this, d is only it is connected to a. So, d knows that to reach itself is 0, reaching to a is 3, it is direct connected, but however, going to any other network or any other routers it, it is the infinity. Now, when it advertise say we look at the A's table right. So, A receives a instance form. So, C from C what it receive A 2 uh, for C to go to A is 2 B 4 C 0 D infinity E 4 because it does not have any knowledge about the D initially right. So, A receives a information from C. Similarly, it receives the information from B also right uh, at uh, periodic information. So, now, on receiving say we consider only one that C, uh, subsequently it will come same type of activity will go for what it receives from B. Now, on receiving it compares that uh, so, in for if it goes via C reaching A will be 4 right. That means, it says that A to C is 2, C to A is 2, right 4, but wherever it has a better costing thing like right? A to A is 0 it is having. So, it updates is A 0 with no hop. See, in order to reach B, C says that it has a thing called 4, right. So, what, he, what it says that in order to reach A to a to C is 2 and C to B is 4. So, in order via C if it goes reaching B is 6, it has a better advantage out here reaching B is 5 it maintains at 5 right. Similarly, going to C via C it was 2 and now here also 2. So, it keeps that for D C do not does not have any information because C is not having any information. So, but A already having that reaching C is D it maintains that for E C says that via C there is a there is it can go by 6 whereas, A's initial table says it was infinity. So, it updates as the thing. So, the C is so the A's table A's routing table after receiving the information from C it becomes like this right. Now, similarly, it will receive the information from B also. So, uh, that updated table can be compared with the B, it can be before or after. Nevertheless, what, what you what we see it finally converges to the things, but if it is very dynamic or in some typical cases there may be situations where you may end up in uh, what we say non desirable states right, which you do not want to be there right. So, what I encourage those who are uh, learning this uh, thing in um, for the first time or not very much accustomed with this try to find out these tables 
uh, yourself right what will be the updated table for b from the initially or e and how it goes on right it's uh, easy if you do it uh, we uh, i also tried that all references along with the things you can consult those books and type of things now uh, there may be some problems right uh, like let us see that there is one is two node instability problem right why what is happening now see if this is the network or portion of the network right let us consider this is the our networking consideration so a for a table reaching x was 2 and it is directly connected right reaching b for b's table reaching x was 6 and it is via a and nevertheless it is other other things are there so dot 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 means it has other information we are only we are only considering this three nodes now, after failure that means, there is a link failure between a and x. So, what a updates that reaching x via a is infinity right. So, there is no connection however, still there is a b still get yet to get the update from the thing right. So, if it a receives a update from b during that time. So, what it does it sees that though there is no path for to x directly, but there is a it seems say there is a path from A to uh, via B. So, it updates. So, A to B is 4 and B by virtue of this says that in order to reach X it is still having that 6 entry right. So, what it does it goes on X to uh, it says that it, you can reach X via b by 4 plus 6 10 right and uh, though uh, only looking at the three nodes may be little uh, you may be little uh, confused that why what is the big problem, but if you look at the whole internet networking situation or a large network. So, this can very much happen based on then when you are receiving this uh, beckoning or the messages etcetera. Now, subsequently a b updates through a and find that it is 10 plus 4 14 and goes on so long they do not end, end up in a uh, infinity that means non reachability finally it goes on the things. So, this this goes on a two node level instability. So, this is a typical situation which may arise in this sort of scenarios. There can be a option of uh, a problem of Mm, what we say three node instability right. So, there are three node a b c a is same thing a is connected to x uh, by, with a link of 2 then what we see after a sends the route to b and c, but the packet to c is lost right. So, what is that there is a failure out here a gets a infinity and a updates the thing. So, B also gets the infinity, but somehow the packet to C is lost. Right? So, C it still keep that x 5 a right. So, and based on that in the next round getting the advertisement from C the other tries to update B updates as 8 right getting a update from the B a, a, a finds that there is a path to x via B right with a 8 plus 4 12 and it goes on increasing right like this right. So, this is this is another another problem of three node level instability right. So, there are issues which uh, need to be addressed when we look at the this sort of link state uh, type of scenarios ok. Sorry, uh, this uh, distance vector type of scenario. So, these are what we are discussing about distance vector routing where it whispers to the neighbors. Now, a, a another uh, routing protocol where which take which keep the uh, inter first of all intra domain routing protocol which keeps the track of the uh, which keeps uh, the track or which keep the state of the whole network is link state routing right. So, the basic philosophy is a link state is a description of a interface of a router that means IP address may be subnet marks 
network type and so and so forth and is connectivity to the neighboring routers or in other sense I so we can look at that it keeps a network graph in a sense right. The collection of these links uh, link states form a link state database the routing algorithms use this principle of link state to determine the uh, network topology. So, in other sense the every router uh, keep track of the topology of the of the whole network right. So, link state approach to determine network uh, network uh, topology if we look at each router identifies all routing devices on the directly connected network right that is easy. So, whatever the it is directly connected each router advertises a list of directly connected network links and is associated cost links through a exchange of link state advertisement or LA, LSAs right with other network. Right. So, it has a uh, each router advertise the LSS while this advertisement each router creates a database detailing the current network topology. So, by looking at this uh, advertisement or receiving this uh, or using this advertisement it uh, makes the network topology. The network topology in each router is typically uh, or ideally should be same right each router should be same each router uses the information in the topology database to compute the most desirable routes to the each destination. So, in other sense it uh, goes on advertising this uh, link states that whatever the connectivity information is there. So, each router gets those information and uh, make the network topology of its own and they, they using this database link state database of the topology it uh, constitute or it uh, finds out that what is the uh, optimal path or optimal route to the uh, destination network right. And this information is used to update the routing table finally, it updates the routing table and it goes on that if this is the destination this is the route and this is the interface to be used of the route. So, that is the routing table update because when the packet comes it get stored and forwarded based on the routing table. So, in the same way if we look at that same type of network. So, what it says that I send information about my neighbors to every router I send information about my neighbors to every. So, everybody sends information and things and every every individual nodes or the routers constitute this or or uh, update its link state database and uh, realize the network topology and find the best path based on this uh, topology. So, similarly like, like what you are saying the link state things. So, individual router has this sort of instance instances of the network right at a particular uh, time and then a, they take a call based on this. Uh, topology find out the best possible path and update this routing table which is used by the uh, packet forwarding. So, same thing link state knowledge is states of the links that how that connectivity and type of things are there these are the different link state knowledge of the individual uh, routers. And then it, it can use some shortest path uh, algorithm the be, the popular algorithm like Dexter algorithm can be used. So, like uh, th this already we know uh, that how this algorithm works. Now, once for this algorithm to work and find out the uh, that optimal path or the shortest path we need to have that whole instance of the network. So, set route to the local node and move it to the tentative things. And this is the uh, and uh, if we have the tentative list is empty then stop so long the list is not empty it goes on iterate uh, like this like right? among the node in the tentative list move the one which is the shortest path to the permanent list add each unprocessed node in the last move node to tentative list if not already present. If the neighbor is in the tentative list with the with uh, in the tentative list with larger cumulative core replaced with the new one 
right. So, this is the standard way of looking at it and uh, if we construct that uh, shortest path tree per se, so the tree will look like uh, this one right. Initially the topology is like that, initially the uh, set the root to A and move to tentative list, uh, move A to permanent list and add C list. Then uh, if move C to the permanent list because it is the list path from the A and so and so forth and finally, we end up end up in the in the position 6 where our tentative uh, your list is empty and as the algo says it stops. So, it find out the overall tree and this can be used for updating the routing table or vis a vis forwarding the packets to the next uh, destination or, or uh, rather next stop to reach the destination. So, in doing so, if we see the routing table of uh, A's routing table, so node reaching node A is cos 0, uh, B is 5, C is 2, D is 3 and E is 6 via C, right. So, this is the table which is, which is being constructed from the from using those information and uh, uh, this this the updated table can be used for forwarding the packets. So, uh, if we try to summarize this link state, so say our knowledge about the neighbor, neighborhood, share with every other router, share sharing when there is a change, right. So, one of the popular link state pop, uh, routing protocol is the OSPF, open shortest path fast which uh, uses this link state protocol to update uh, update table. And OSPF if you see that it is a in a, we will see later on it is the uh, popular protocol or intra domain routing protocol which is used in uh, as for intra domain routing in the uh, in uh, within the AS or uh, within the areas in the AS right. So, this follows the link state routing. So, what we have seen that the broad uh, way of how this uh, distance vector and link state works and uh, the popular uh, protocol for uh, your distance vector is RIP and whereas, uh, this in case of a link state it is OSPF. So, uh, with this uh, let us conclude our lecture, we will be continuing our discussion with this uh, intra domain and subsequently inter domain in some subsequent uh, lectures uh, of this uh, of this particular course. Thank you.